world. Hey, uh, we're gonna try Ruby Open CV today. Just a little hello world version. Um, so I installed this gem and I installed Open CV, uh, which I think I went down some rabbit holes when I was doing that um, that I may not have needed to. So I would recommend um, first making a little repo like this with a little gem. You don't need this, this, this. Um, really, this, this open this gem, uh, Ruby CV, then bundle install. Um, if you get any problems, uh, comment on the video and I'll try to help you figure it out. Because, uh, yeah, I, I tried to follow a few different tutorials on uh, download or installing open CV, and that was a pain. So, let's get to the fun part, which is uh, detecting contours are detecting bounding rectangles from contours. So what I did was I went up here to examples and I was looking through the contour ones and I was looking through the uh, bounding box detect canny and I copy pasted this, uh, most of this code, it seems pretty well documented, uh, pretty neat. Put it in here, this little test uh, and it'll take in a test image which I have here and I, I just took a screenshot of um, of uh, the OpenCV site because um, I'm interested in in dicing up uh, mocks into uh, you know nested rectangles nested components then generate um, components from those like a React generator thing that'd be pretty neat okay so let's see how this uh, see how this works so I come over here and I'll run this file. Uh, you know, it's wrong. Make it uh, executable. This to be sweet. Found all these, and it also output a um, uh, the output image. You can see that output image right there. So, sweet. Kind of neat. Um, it'll turn it to a grayscale so that it can do the the contour. Detection. I need to make it so that these. Uh, I need to have an outer bounding rectangle over s these ones, like these text ones, right? Need to have a. Need to have larger. Um, bounding rectangles, but all right. That's the first cast. 